Hey everybody, Josh here. Welcome back to the channel where I talk about IT, cybersecurity, education, and career things. In this video, I'm going to be answering a user's question. Basically, they say, hey Josh, just wondering what tech-related fields would you say have the lowest stress and or best work-life balance? Also, how that career rate in terms of salary and job security? So before we get into this, consider following me on Instagram. I post a lot there recently, a lot of high-quality content. I'm not necessarily tech things, just like kind of my daily life and my food I'm eating here and like Japan scenery and that, and that type of stuff. So check that out. Um, okay, so getting right into answering this viewer's question. As far as like the tech related fields, it really depends, to be honest. I'm just going to speak from my standpoint. I will say in my in my opinion, from what I've done, cybersecurity tends to be the worst for the lowest stress and uh, work life balance is okay. But for me, cybersecurity tends to stress, stress me out because a lot of the jobs I've worked have been like governance, risk and compliance. To, in order to do that job well, it relies on other humans doing their job well. And I I, where I worked that that environment like wasn't good for that and people just like wouldn't do their job properly and as such it made my job like to tend to, to suck quite a bit but cybersecurity is pretty good work-life balance and i'm sure if you can do something technical depending on like where you work probably the stress is going to be lower but it really depends so if i if i were to like, generalize this answer i would probably say like as far as like work-life balance you probably want to avoid the jobs where it's like you're delivering mail so you can imagine like the mailman like his job like essentially like never ends and he needs to spend whatever the case may be like eight hours every day like delivering mail or however long it takes because the mail is like always going to come like some seasons are going to be more mail but you, you have to like it's like a never-ending queue so this would this would be probably like cloud support engineering like it pays well and it's a really good place to work and learn stuff but it tends to be high stress because you never really know how to solve the problems you have to like figure out how to solve every problem because they're usually difficult and you you kind of have like an unending queue and it's usually like a lot of tickets to do so you probably want to avoid cloud support engineering if you want to have like low stress and like good work-life balance help desk is a little bit easier you have like a lot of unending tickets but usually those tickets are kind of you know much easier than cloud support engineering so you could work some kind of support job like a help desk like tier 2 escalation or like a help desk manager or something like this probably going to be a little bit better and for me the jobs where I'm like in control of what's happening I tend to have much lower stress and like better work life balance. So my current job for for instance, I'm like a cloud automation engineer slash software engineering. Um, a lot of my job is well, most of it is like based on me, like I don't have any roadblocks, essentially, like I don't have to rely on other people to do stuff. And then I, I have like kind of an unending queue, like a un never ending list of stuff to do, but I'm really good at regulating it. So I, I kind of just like do a certain amount every day and, and stop and no one bothers me. So that's like really nice. So generally speaking, I would probably say like the best work life balance, um, the lowest stress and the highest salary is probably something something to do with coding like software engineering or web development or something of course you don't want to, you don't you probably don't want to work for a consulting firm like Accenture or someplace like this because they're just gonna abuse you and make you like work you know maximum amount because for whatever reason so many people want to work there so they just like work you to death don't be a consultant but probably um probably some kind of knowledge based work that's highly skilled is going to give you the highest salary best work best work life balance and, and lowest stress so probably software engineering or, or coding or, or something like this right I'd probably say like cybersecurity and normal you know it operations and system engineering is probably tied um it really depends like i know i'm gonna say cybersecurity probably loses out because a lot of the stuff in cybersecurity is it's incident based and has some kind of time constraint on it like you you need to respond to incidents in like a certain time period a lot of the time and it's like kind of out of your control like if something happens or a breach surprise you have a bunch of work and you just can't do anything about it you just have to you just have to handle it also cybersecurity especially like especially defensive security it requires like a lot of collaboration a lot of like um behavior modification of other employees um you have to like you know get them to practice good hygiene and you're constantly like technologically babysitting people and you know if they're you it's like hurting cats a little bit so cybersecurity is probably not that i don't know you let me know what you think in the comment section i don't really think cyber is like that great to be honest it pays really well and it had, there's a reason for that a lot of people who can do cyber like either require a lot of money or they just 
don't do it like like me for instance and i would say like you know general it like sys admin system engineering type thing that's probably middle of the line because a lot of your work is knowledge based um when you get to that level say you're like a cloud admin and you're just managing resources for a company it's not like you have an unlimited list of like tickets coming your way that you have to deal with you probably have like projects that you do and a lot of which are kind of reliant on your own sufficiency and like how well you organize like execute the project so probably you know sys admin probably middle of the line cybersecurity probably worst to be honest probably worst most stress because so much stuff is out of your control and then mm, automation that is probably like the best of all all worlds i guess i would advocate for coding if you're if you're into that check out if you're if you're one of those people who are like really scared of coding watch this video the truth about coding i kind of talk about it and demystify it a little bit it's not as hard as you think it is and you don't have to memorize anything it's just a matter of understanding and practicing so coding number one normal it sys operations number two probably cybersecurity number three um although cyber pays more than system like you know normal it i guess but i you know i don't really like that much yeah that's all uh follow me on instagram i try to post a lot there as usual a lot of food japanese things I'll, I'll try to i'll try to post much more interesting content it's pretty good now but we're we're working on trying to make instagram better so you know follow me on there i really appreciate your support and thanks for watching as always and we will see you in the next video Bye -bye.